Hello, and welcome to Fusion Writing, where building character meets creating structure. This is our writing week, and boy, is it going to be exciting. But today is our compass day, and that means it's just an overview. You'll have to come back tomorrow for the meet. So I'll, without any further wait, I'll turn it over to Victoria to get us started. Hello, friends, Lilligans, fellow creative onlookers and creators, um, anti-novelists and anti-netters. Our ranks are growing in bounds and numbers, which is awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. In this writing week, I wanted to take a moment to look backwards and start to put together some of the little bits and pieces of tools that we've gathered up to this point. So if you just think, if, if you've looked at some of the other videos and you followed along with the lessons, we've given you a lot of different headings by which you can navigate creating your story. What I mean by that is we've looked at things like creating scenes and starting to put together how that might look. We've looked at creating characters. Kathleen has delved way deep into great characters and how to identify them and anchor those things to emotions. We've just given you a lot of ways to get into that story or to get into that character. With that said, for the compass this week, what I want to give you as your writing heading is I want you to start to think about how can I put these things together? because there are so many different ways that you can push your story forward. Sometimes that can get really overwhelming and we've shared a lot of stuff. So for tomorrow in the map, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to give you some ways to navigate through collecting the bits and pieces that we've talked about and then turning those into bits and pieces of actual writing. Because remember at the end of the day, it's not about thinking great thoughts. It's not about having terrific inspiration and ideas. It's about getting the words on the page because until you have something on the page to edit, you don't have anything except great ideas and great ideas aren't enough for great books. So tomorrow, when we get to the map, I'm gonna walk you through a few things to hopefully get those words on the page. So I will throw it back over to Kathleen and let her take it away. Oh, thank you, Victoria. As usual, that dovetails perfectly with what I'm going to cover tomorrow in the map. I don't know how we do this because we go off separately and plan our, our curriculum. And when we come back together, it, it they just work. So I'm just excited about it. Well, this week for the uh, when we dive into the map tomorrow, I'm going to take those two character trait subgroups that we talked about this month, attention and dependability and I'm going to show you how I smash those together in one character and use those two attributes assign them to the character in the right positions and show how it generates story so it, uh, I will be giving you a concrete example of how the story comes out of the character which I hope will let you Take a look at those character traits and try different places for them for yourself and see how you can create a character with the same or a different mix of those character traits. So be sure to come back tomorrow for the map. Anything to add, Victoria? Nope, I think that sums it up. As always, I don't know how we manage to make the, these things mesh, but they sure do. So we will see everybody tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. See ya.